Um, so one thing that people do know about me that I talk about, I have a personality disorder. It's called borderline personality disorder. Um, I just found out about it maybe four years ago. Um, so what is that uh, personality disorder exact? Uh, uh, what is it exactly? So it's like... It's, a, it's exactly how it sounds, borderline personality. Um, you kind of teetering on a on a border. You so you can, go, you can go from one to the other very quick, exactly. I'm assuming. Exactly, very, okay. very quick. Gotcha. Um, and before, I didn't have any control over it. So I was just, mm. you know, things would trigger me. And to other people, it would come off like, what's wrong with her? But I felt valid in what I was doing. Um, so going to therapy, like I always knew something was going on with me because I had a, a very quick temper, mm. you know, so I didn't, you know, I was like, maybe I'm bipolar, you know, but mm -hmm. I didn't really take it that serious. Yeah. Um, and then like uh, my baby father, like he would say stuff to me like, what are you talking about? That must be in your head, you know, like and I used to be like, nigga, you trying to call me crazy, you yeah. know, like what the fuck are you talking about? Mm -hmm. But really, it was something going on with me and I didn't know. So um when i got diagnosed it was really hard to hear that like it almost felt like she told me i was schizophrenic because i mm -hmm. felt like i was imagining things that's what i thought of when you first said it because schizophrenia is similar to kind of going between one to the other one within the snap of the fingers yes, so that's exactly. the first thing i thought of but yeah it was it was like you know um it was very hard for me to hear that at first what made you want to go to the therapy in the first place well, to be honest, <laughs> please do. Um, I was having suicidal thoughts while I was pregnant, and mm -hmm. that scared me. I didn't want to hurt my baby, which mm -hmm. is crazy to say because I wasn't even thinking about myself. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to hurt my baby. But I'm sure you're not the only one in that boat. Of so. course, and that's why I'm being open about yeah. it because that was the truth. That's mm -hmm. I. I was like, I need to go to therapy before I do something to yeah. myself. And I went, and then maybe three months into me seeing her, because I used to go twice a week. Like, mm. I was really in there. I was going twice a week. That is heavy. I go it was heavy. twice a month. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was going twice a week yeah. for a year, uh -huh. for a whole year. And um, after about three months, she was like, because um, it was just too much. I think I needed to go that much. You know what I'm mm. saying? I, I just, but anyway. Um, you know, she was like, are you ready to hear your diagnosis? And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. But when she said it, I never even heard of what that was. Mm -hmm. And then she started telling me the symptoms. And you know how you watch a movie and somebody tells somebody something that they can't believe and it kind of goes into like the person's voice gets muffled. That's literally how I felt when she was talking to me. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't even hear her anymore because I'm yeah. over here thinking like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> It's like you heard it, but not really. Yes, yes. And I and I remember driving home and crying and just thinking like, oh, my God, I'm probably crazy. Like, I just felt crazy, you yeah. know. Um, and so leave it. I feel so much better. I really do. Like, man, it was a struggle. Um, and with that struggle, um, because some of it was like, I'm sorry, some of You're it good. was That's like. That's that Bel Air. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Some of it was like sexual abuse, you know, mm. as like when I was younger. So that's kind of where the sensual sensual part came from, mm. the healing in mm -hmm. that part, because I took back, I gained back my own power by embracing mm. my own sexiness yeah. and embracing what was sexy to me Yeah. instead of, um, you know, like when sexual assault happens to women, um, a part of our power is taken away. We mm. don't feel control over our bodies, which is why um, I want to bring this up because Please do. <laughs> you never know who's listening to this. But a lot of guys be like, well, if a girl was assaulted, why would she go out here and be sleeping with a lot of men? And because she don't know her boundaries because nobody because her boundaries was taken away from her as a kid. You know what I'm saying? So is that what goes into it? And I ask because so um, I know. Unfortunately, I know multiple women who have been sexually assaulted in some way. And it's like a, a, a fork in the road of between the yep. two. It's Where either, they either go all the way away from it or they all in it. It's either they are Black Snake Moan. Have you ever seen the movie Black yes. Snake Moan? So Black Snake yes. Moan, for those who haven't seen it, she was, a, she was sexually assaulted. And that turned to her being a straight nympho. 
And that is real fucking life. Yes. Because most of the girls I know that have been sexually assaulted, it's either they turned out to be straight nymphos or yep. they turned out to be completely conservative. Completely conservative. To where they don't even get they turned even, on by yep, anything sexual. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So you're saying that's where it comes from, right? Yes. On your part, at least. Yes, yes, yes. 